In this video, we will discuss about the Solaris patches and the patching strategies. So what is a Solaris patch and why it is used and what type of patches available. Solaris patches are used to deliver changes to the existing Solaris packages. The majority of the changes are like bug fixes. However, sometimes the patches can also deliver new features to the existing packages. Sometimes they deliver full feature functionality to the existing package and the other times it will just provide a hook to new functionality into an existing package. Oracle provides the Solaris patches in different formats. They are like generic patches. These are the standard Solaris patches. They contain bug fixes and are new features. They have no special identification. The next type is security patches. These are standard Solaris patches that contain security fixes. Security patches, patches are identify the keyword security in the keywords line mentioned in the readme text file of the patch. The next type is kernel patches. A kernel patch is a generic patch. It either provides a bug fix to the existing kernel or provides a new features in the existing kernel. The next type of patches that we normally deal with is IDEA. IDEA stands for Interim Diagnostics and Relief. And strictly speaking, an idea is not considered to be a patch as it, is, as it does not provide any official bug fixes. Sometimes if a customer issue is proving difficult to diagnose, then Oracle provides the customer an idea that containing the code which can help customer to isolate the issue. And later when a fix is identified, then another idea may be created for the escalating customer to trial the fix and provide relief for the issue. If the idea fixes the issue successfully, then Oracle initiates the process of creating an official patch which will fix the issue for, for uh, all other customers. The next type is ISR. ISR stands for Interim Security Relief. They are basically same as ideas except that the patch they provide interim relief to security vulnerabilities. And point patches are something that which are historical artifacts which have been largely replaced by the IDRs. The next one is driver update patches. Most driver updates are delivered in a sparse package patch format. However, a small number of driver updates for x86 systems must be released as floppy images. And the final type of patch is firmware patch. Many Spark firmware updates are related as patches, while these may use a normal patch ID format, but they may not be of the standard patch format applicable to use by patch AD command. Customers may need to follow the install instructions that are provided with the readme text files along with the firmware patches. So how Oracle delivers these patches to the customers? One way is by providing Solaris update releases from the site edelivery.oracle.com and other way is by providing the patches from the My Oracle support website and the customers who have active subscription can directly go there and download the patches for their systems. So what is the good time for Solaris patching? Major OS upgrade and maintenance windows typically dictated by the business constraints and they are not same for all the customers who are whoever using the Solaris and most of the time the companies often associate the major upgrade task with the hardware rollouts and Oracle recommends strategy is to schedule the major Solaris upgrade activities for every 18 to 24 months and for minor patching tasks the maintenance windows normally scheduled for every three months Oracle recommend recommends to schedule these activities based on their CPU that is critical patch update release dates so you can update entire Oracle stack at the same time. Normally the CPUs are released on Tuesday closest to 17th of January, April, July and October. And you can find more information about the CPU releases from this link. And reactive patching may occasionally be necessary to address break and fix issues uh, specific to your environment. So what patches we should apply? If we are in major maintenance windows, we normally apply the Solaris 10 upgrade releases. A Solaris 10 update is a full release image containing new features with all available patches pre-applied. And it provides functionally rich, intensely tested, high quality and high performance software baselines on which to standardize deployments. We can either install or upgrade to a latest Solaris update release. Alternatively, you can also use Solaris update patch bundles to bring all pre-existing packages up to the same software level as the corresponding Solaris update.
Oracle recommends its customers to be on a Solaris 10 update or Solaris update patch bundle that was released in the last two years. So how to install these patches? The first thing you have to do is get your tools ready and always install the latest patch and package utility patches before installing any other patches. Normally this is done when we are applying the Solaris OS recommended patch cluster or Solaris CPUs or Solaris update patch bundles. And sometimes if your organization using Solaris live upgrade, you can install the Solaris 10 live upgrade patches by using this live upgrade features. And just in case if you are using any patch automation tool, make sure you have patched that tool before you installing the Solaris patches using that automation tool. And it is always recommended to apply patches and upgrades to an inactive boot environment so that we can minimize the risk and downtime. Oracle releases its patches after extensive testing and quality check. But still we need to take necessary actions to further mitigate the risk of change. So how do we do it? It is always good practice to have our own test environment which closely mimics our production environment so that we can test the patches rigorously before we actually installing them on our production environment. And the testing of the patches in test environment should also include functional PE load and stress testing. So what are the things we need to consider while planning for the solar dispatching? Always remember that change implies risk and minimizing risk is not as simple as minimizing change. So we need to consider the best tested and best quality baselines upon which to standardize our deployments. Prevention is always better than cure. So always have a scheduled plan for proactive maintenance windows. Because the proactive maintenance is usually significantly less costlier than the reactive maintenance. A homogeneous environment always helps to reduce complexity and hence the total cost of ownership. To make the patching task easy, Oracle introduced a new next generation packaging architecture in Solaris 11 that is called Image Packaging System and also called IPS. It will leverage the technical advances like ZFS root snapshots and boot environment features. I will show you the detailed demonstration of how to install and manage Solaris patches in our Solaris management module of the course.